iHRMS from Indovision is an intelligent HR solution that is a combination of hardware and software resources designed to manage an organization's computerized and automated human resource processes using web and mobile based applications. Hello, welcome to Document Management in iHRMS. In iHRMS, you can keep all sort of important documents of employees from personal documents like Aadhaar and PAN to academic ones like certificates and mark sheets and even job offer letters. We will cover this part for employee and super admin ID only because it is not present in admin ID in all documents status. Here we got a list of all the employees with their document status. The table have column for serial number, employee code, name, their email ID, mail status, then all the required documents. And the I icon to view these documents. Here in this table, the green tick for a document means it is uploaded and red cross means that it is not. Then we have serial number with check boxes. It is used in selecting employees to whom we want to send mail to remind them to upload their missing documents. To send mail, click this button. Mail successfully sent to all three employees. And see mail status is not a red cross now. It's a green tick. Now let's return to table. See, mail status has changed. Now let's view these documents of an employee. Here it is. Employee's personal info. In documents, we have a PAN card. You can see its little image here. To get it in full size, click the eye icon. Then Aadhaar card with Aadhaar number in full size and we can download it from this icon. Here it is. Then photo, passport front photo and back. Some more personal information and Medicaid card which it says that it is not uploaded yet. We can upload it from here in the super admin ID or we can go to employees ID and upload it there. Let's upload it from here first. Employee management, personal. Here a super admin can update personal information of an employee. Let's scroll down to upload documents. Here is Medicaid. From here we can choose a file and update it. Now we can check it from here also with this eye icon. Here is the pic we uploaded. Now return. We can also upload ESIC card here. I am choosing the same pic and update. Well, you successfully updated. Then we have this question is the personal information completed? If we select yes and update, it's updated. We will get this information locked in a green locked padlock icon. It means that now employee cannot update anything in personal information. Now let's return to see more documents. We have covered personal. See, we must be getting Medicaid card here too. Here it is. Next is employee qualification info. All the important academic info is here. And the documents. Just like before, we have small images of documents here their respective download buttons and eye icons to view them. 
and the documents that are not uploaded have this written before them. Right here, not uploaded yet. Let's upload these documents from employee ID. This is that employee's ID. In employee management, qualification info, upload education documents. Here it is. Here we can upload a diploma or certificate. Now save. Successfully updated. It must be showing here too. This is that image. Here we can upload multiple files. For example, in post-graduation for semester and for second. Third, we can upload all these files in one go and save. Successfully updated. Here they are. All three are updated at once. In the employee management module, an employee can upload all of his documents, for example, in My Work Info. They can upload their last company's documents, like appointment letter, salary slip, and relieving letter. Let's upload the salary slip. And relieving letter. And then employee can fill up these fields for its next company, upload their document, and then click save. Values updated. See? Similar it is for bank details. Here they can fill in their bank details and upload cancel check and passbook photo. We have already done that. In Upload Acknowledgements, here they upload documents related to present company like offer letter, appointment letter, NDC is known disclosure certificate, and NOC is no objection certificate. Let's quickly upload them too. And these conditions should be fulfilled while uploading document that size should not exceed 1 MB and these are the only allowed formats. Now submit. Data successfully saved. In my achievements, employee can upload their certificates that they earned while working in the company. Here to select certification type, then certificate name and then choose a file to upload. Here we can add a description, then submit. Whatever changes we have made in the employee management here in the employee ID will reflect in the super admin ID. So let's check the super admin ID now. Here we are. Let's scroll down to qualification info. We have uploaded a certificate. It was not present here earlier. And these three mark sheets too. In work info, we just uploaded salary slip and relieving letter. Here it is. And in bank details, we have cancel check. and passbook photo. See here with these checkboxes, we can log the information fields for the employee. For example, if I say yes to qualification information is completed and update it, qualification information field in the employee ID will be logged. Let's check it. 
we are in the employee id now and information is locked we cannot upload any document now